Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Now, next week, I've got Memphis in May, the world's biggest barbecue contest coming up. And they've added a new category this year for turkey breast. And they're supposed to be giving us two whole turkey breasts to cook. We can do them any kind of way we want. So I thought I would work on a recipe and share it with you guys this week. I'm doing smoked turkey streak tacos. I know it's a little different, but I think it's going to do real well with the judges. And I want y'all to see how I do it. Let's get to cooking. So I've taken this whole turkey breast and let it thaw out in the refrigerator overnight. And the only thing I've done to it is just kind of scored it a little bit right through that keel bone, just so it'll open up some. That, that's gonna help it set upright on the smoker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some paper towels and really get the outside dry. I wanna get all that moisture from where the turkey breast thawed off of it. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of cooking spray on the outside, just got some canola oil. And today I'm using my new prototype Grande Gringo season. It's kind of a Mexican blend of spices. And you can use any Mexican style Southwestern seasoning. But we want to give it a nice coat. Now you could even brine or inject if you wanted to to really get some more flavors in there. But we're going to make a sauce to go with this turkey after a while. And it's really going to bring all that flavor on the back end of the recipe. So now the turkey breast is ready to go on the smoker, and I'm firing up my Traeger Timberline for this cook. We're starting it out down low at like 225 degrees so we can get some smoke in it, and then we're gonna ramp those temperatures up to where it cooks even and nice and browns on the outside. It's only gonna take a couple hours for a breast. Set it right straight on the grate. I'm gonna get the lid closed, and we're gonna let it smoke for a little while. All right, so we've smoked the turkey for about an hour. It's starting to get some good color on it. This is where I want to go ahead and raise the temp up. We're going to crank the temp up to about 300 degrees now. Also want to put a probe in it so I can monitor it. We're looking for 165 when it's done. Now it's all about the temp. You can see we're running about 117. We've got a ways to go. I've got my dot set for 165. We're just going to watch it and see here. The thermometer will let us know when it's done. All right, the alarm is going off. We have hit about 167 internal, which is perfect. Cranking that temp up just put a really nice nice crust on the outside of that turkey breast. That skin's just where I wanted all those herbs and all that seasons just cooked onto it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully take it up and we're going to put it just on a small pan. Then I'm going to take it over to the cutting board and just loosely tin it because I need it to rest a little bit. It's going to give me time to put the sauce together that we're going to make these turkey street tacos with. So while the turkey rests, we're gonna make our fire roasted chipotle sauce. I'm starting with the one onion diced up. We're gonna get that softened up, a little bit of garlic. Then we're gonna add some seasoning, some cumin, some oregano. I've got four chipotle peppers in adobo sauce that we've chopped up real fine. We're gonna add that to our cast iron pot and then we're just gonna let it cook just for a few minutes. Add a couple cans of fire roasted tomatoes, a little bit of chicken broth, and then just adjust the seasoning with a pinch of salt to balance it all out. We're gonna let that simmer down, let some of those juices cook out of it and then we're going to put it in a food processor and just process it until it's smooth and that's where we're at right here i've just poured it up out of the food processor into a quart jar and now we're ready to pull the turkey it's calmed down it's been off the heat probably for about a half hour that's plenty of rest time so i'm just going to use some gloves and we're just going to start shredding that turkey breast you can save some of the skin put some of the skin in there if you want that's what i want to do because it's got all the good seasonings but i'm not going to put all of it and i'm going to go ahead and shred it in my dutch oven and you don't want to just all the way shred it up because i want it to be some bites of turkey you can leave it about like that but you can see the turkey's got some smoke to it but it's been cooked all the way through still got plenty of juice in it let's get a little of our skin i'm going to kind of tear that skin up just for some of the flavors that's going to mix in with our pulled meat so now we're going to add the sauce right to the turkey and you don't have to use all of it i'm going to pour in about half and then we're going to mix it around because we just want the sauce to cover the pulled turkey let's add a little more sauce just keep adding it to the ratio looks right to you now that looks good now we need to get it back on some heat and this is a point you could do this in a crock pot you could do it back on the stove top because we're just bringing the sauce and the turkey up to temperature. We're really not trying to cook it a whole lot more. We're just wanting to heat it through. And so it works perfect for a taco bar. Let me get this over to the Traeger. So now I've got the Traeger set on about 250 and we're just trying to warm it through to let that sauce loosen up a little bit and heat and get some flavor into the pulled turkey. All right, so the sauce and the pulled turkey came together. Let it go just about a half hour there on the Traeger while I got everything else ready. And what I did is I just put some tortilla shells in some aluminum foil and set them right beside the turkey. Now I'm gonna lay them out and we're gonna build these tacos. 
And yeah, I've got the gringo shells today. These are flower street taco shells. You could use corn, but being that I'm doing this for a contest, I'm not taking a chance that a judge doesn't like corn shells. So I'm just going with the flower version. We're gonna take our shredded turkey that we've mixed with the sauce. And we're gonna put a little bit of that on each street taco. Just wanna kind of spread it out if it needs a little more. I want the judges to be able to taste that turkey, the sauce that's in it, all the flavors. Now I'm gonna dress these tacos with the little jalapeno lime slaw that I put together. And it's really just some mayo, a little mustard in it, some green onion, of course some jalapeno, some fresh lime juice and a little lime zest. That's gonna give us a nice fresh flavor on top of the turkey. Also have to have a little cilantro in there for that bite. And then I've got some cotija cheese. It's kind of a Mexican Parmesan style crumbly cheese. That's going right on top. And then I've got some pickled red onion to kind of give it the color pop. You don't want to go too heavy. I may have got a little heavy on that one. That's all right. Looks good. And to finish it off, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime over the top. And then I've got some fried jalapeno that's going to give us just a little crunch element. And these bring a little heat too. And this is a store-bought product. It's made by French's, but it's really great. I like the little jalapeno crisp it gives. I know it's not a traditional street taco, but hey, this is my turkey version. That looks good. And then I'm going to finish it off with a little drizzle of Valentina hot sauce mixed with a little bit of Killer Hogs hot sauce so I can give it some of my flair. So now is the best part of the day when I get to try one of these street tacos. I mean, check that out. That's beautiful. Mm. Mm. The heat is just right in these tacos. I mean, you get the smokiness from the turkey, the fire roasted tomatoes, the chipotle pepper. I love that crunch that the jalapenos gives it, the cilantro, the jalapeno in the slaw, a little bit of the hot sauce. Man, it's fantastic. Mm. Hey, I hope the judges love this next week as much as I do. I really like the flavors. You can taste the smoked turkey. You get the spices. You get the creaminess in the slaw. It all goes together to make a perfect street taco. And you can even substitute out the turkey if you wanted to try chicken, if you wanted to try pulled pork or even shredded beef. It would all go great with the sauce and dress them the exact same way. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And at the end of the week, you can check out our podcast. We wrap up all the delicious things we've done. We'll see y'all next time. Cheryl, this is a winner, winner turkey dinner because them judges are going to love it. Mm.